Hi everyone, Miss Abby here. Today I'm going to read to you Across the Bay by Carlos Aponte. In this sweet story, a young boy lives in Puerto Rico with his mom and his abuela, his grandma. He loves his family, but he starts to miss his dad, who lives across the bay, and he goes to search for him. Let's find out what happens. Across the Bay Carlitos lived in the town of Cataño, across the bay from the capital. Mango, avocado, and banana trees grew in every yard. These were the pride of the people. Most of the families in Carlitos' town looked the same. His family didn't look like the others. Carlitos lived in a colorful house with his mother Carmen, his abuela, and Coco the cat. Fresh azucenas filled every room. These were Abuela's favorite flowers. Carlitos loved the town of Cataño, but he did not like the barber shop. Buenos dias, Doña Carmen, said Francisco the barber. Buenos dias, Francisco, said Carlitos' mom. Just a trim for my handsome little man. Carlitos blushed. And if you finish first, said Carmen to her son, I'll be across the street at the beauty salon. Carmen paid the barber, blew her son a kiss, and left the barber shop. Carlitos took a seat and waited his turn next to the fathers and sons. How do you think Carlitos is feeling on this page? Yeah, maybe a little lonely or embarrassed even. After his haircut, Carmen returned to drive Carlitos home. The little boy stared out the window at the Capitol. Mommy, where's Poppy? Carlitos asked. Do you think he'll ever come home? Carlitos, your father is across the bay, said Carmen. Sometimes things don't work out, but Abuela and I love you very much. Are you happy with us? Carlitos nodded. He was happy but he always wondered about his father. Why don't we go to the beach tomorrow, said Carmen. Imagine the fun we'll have. At home, Carlitos opened a small wooden box he kept in his dresser. Under a pile of cards and comics, he found an old photo of his father. I'll find you, Poppy, the little boy said, tucking the photo in his pocket. Next, he grabbed some money Abuela had slipped under his pillow. He tiptoed quietly out the front door and straight to the ferry terminal. Carlitos bought a ticket and sat by the window. So far, so good, he thought. On the boat ride, the boy heard whoosh and splash as the ferry cut through the waves. The ancient city of old San Juan grew bigger and bigger. That's where he's going. The trip was short, but it felt like a long voyage. When he entered the city, it looked like a maze. On a sunny corner, Carlitos approached a pirag piraguera shaving iced treats. Excuse me, said the boy. Do you know this man? He showed the ice vendor the photo. No, said the vendor, but there is a woman named Cassandra who feeds stray cats by the cathedral. She's lived a very long time and seen many faces. Perhaps she can help you find him. In a park by the cathedral, cats lounged in the shade, some napped behind trees. I'm looking for someone, Carlitos told the woman named Cassandra. Do you know this man? Hmm, said Cassandra. She looked at the photo. I know more cats than people these days. San Juan might Seems small, but it's a big place. You might have to travel the whole city. And so he did. In a colorful plaza, old men played dominoes. Carlitos asked one man about his father, then another, then another. <coughs> but no one knew his poppy. On San Sebastian Street, people wore colorful costumes and sang and danced to the rhythm of guitars. Que bonita bandera, que bonita bandera es la bandera puertorriqueña. The little boy searched the faces in the crowd, 
but no one looked like his father. Carlito searched all over the city. He walked so far he reached the edge of old San Juan. The castle El Moro stood at the top of a hill overlooking the bay. The only place left to look is that castle, Carlito said. Papi must be in there. The little boy sprinted across the great lawn. His spirits felt as high as the kites in the sky. Carlitos arrived at the steps of the castle. Do you know my father? He asked the park ranger. Maybe, said the ranger. What does he look like? The little boy reached for the photo in his pocket. Oh no, said Carlitos. His eyes filled with tears. Somehow the photo was gone. Did you notice on the page before? Look, the photo fell out of his pocket. Clouds darkened the sky. Rain poured down in buckets. Carlitos and the ranger found shelter under an archway. Why are you crying? The ranger asked Carlitos. I lost a photo of my father, said the boy. Do you remember what he looks like? asked the ranger. Carlito said, yes. Then he will live forever in your memory. When sad things happen, the ranger said, I think of them like dark clouds. No matter the storm, the sun always returns. And just like that, the rain stopped, the sun came out, and everything looked shiny and new. Carlitos walked along the water and glanced at the town of Catania. He wondered what his mama, his abuela, and Coco the cat were doing at that very moment. Now the sun was beginning to set. Fresh azucenas, a street vendor shouted. The little boy smiled. He handed the vendor some money and bought a fresh bouquet for abuela. With flowers in hand, Carlitos raced back toward the ferry. His family was calling from across the bay. And Carlitos couldn't wait to see them. What do you think Carlitos learned in this story? Look at the last page of him happy with his mom and his abuela. What do you think he learned? I hope you enjoyed that story today. Bye. See you next time.